This is Steve O, uh, coming to you live uh, with the uh, manufacturing and the proper way on maintenance, servicing, fabricating, and installing your air conditioning system. Starting off with the number one key is your gauges. This here is an S-Men gauge. It also has micron, so when you pull it into a vacuum, it reads the micron uh, all the way down to, I'm sure, 400 microns or maybe less. Um, and then we will show you the proper steps on uh, getting pressures and then also introducing the refrigerant in the system and also unhooking this gauge while you have gas liquid in here and gas is in this side putting all the liquid back into the system we'll show that coming to you live steve -O. this is your high side which is the outdoor this is your inside the low side at this, you introduce whatever that you have to put in the system. Right now, you have 410A, right? You have 410A. 410A. Okay. So I gotta close my, I gotta close my valves. And oh, look, they're loose. Oh, look at that. Wow. So easy. Yeah, I know. It's not supposed to be that easy. <laughs> This one down here. Oh, yeah. So basically, there's a little cap on there that you've got to get off. Yeah. Righty tighty, lefty loose. Yes, sir. Righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. Sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to get that mixed up. Okay. So now we're gonna see what we what we, what we see on our pressures. So you've got this a green and a red line. And um, oh, this this is actually blue. Oh no, no, this is blue. It just yeah, it's green. That might be colorblind. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I too. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, close my valves, make sure no refrigerant mixes, make sure this is closed. Alright, right side, it should be around at threes. It has to be. This is the red, it connects to the red. So you put it up by the red side. Here we got 11.4. That's great. That's good. Yes. Yes. Some, some manufacturers will say it. Some manufacturers will say, but not all of them do. But uh, that's a good sub -core. That's a That's a good sub -core. So we're good there. Yes. And now you gotta get super. So now we, put, now we do it on the other one. Yes. Get this one. It is based off of pressure as well. If your pressure is not good, these numbers aren't good. 
See? There you go, around the 20s, 24. Sounds good. That's good. All right. Yeah. So we're looking pretty good on this unit. That's really good. That's, that's perfect numbers. Those are great numbers. Now you're going to see this number rise when I when a uh, head pressure rises. When I when I uh, go over this, if I lay over this, you're going to see a rise. Okay. You see it rise? Yep, it's going up. But what is it now? 52, 54, 57. It's going to keep going. 58. <laughs> it's still going? Yeah. Now it's in the 60s. Wow. Now, release the heat. Now, now it's releasing heat. Now it's dropping. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> this is very sensitive. See, when the sun comes over here and it beams on that, uh -huh. it won't be in the 50s anymore. It'll be in the 60s. Oh, so they should put some like, shade over it. Not necessarily. I mean, it's in the, the limit right here. It says max uh, design pressure, high side, 450. So we're like a hundred off of from that. Yeah. And then you got the design pressure for the low side is 250. Okay. I mean, I see them go above like 450, like 460, something like that. Something like that. Not the best. Not the best. And then inside, this will go up if it's getting too much hot air. Mm -hmm. If it's really, really hot inside, this will be like 130, 140. Because the TXV that you have in there, it's open. It opens all the way up. Now, when it cools, the, low, the cooler it gets, the more this number will drop. Yeah, it's it's fundamental. Now, I, when I take these off, this this has liquid in it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in here. Only gas. Nothing is in here because I blocked us too off. This has liquid. If I if you get your when you get your maintenance and the techs hook this up all the time, mm -hmm. and if they don't do the procedure correctly, they're gonna take refrigerant little by little all the time. Mm -hmm. So what I do first is. First, I gotta take put this back. So I already got all that reading and everything else. I gotta put this back together, like this, like so. Like, what I gotta do is get your email. When I, I'll make this video, I'll send it to you. Oh, nice! And Thank you. Have a little like video. nice. Yeah. Video. Yeah. You doing it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I can teach my students. I can show my students. Dude, you're very good at it. I wow. like it. Thank I you. learned a lot, man. Yeah, I can continue teaching. I can always continue teaching. And then, this is how it is. So right now, press the gauges are hooked up, system is running. You wonder when the system is running. Mm -hmm. Because the suction one is it's sucking in the refrigerant. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is, a, this is a blowback valve. It keeps the liquid. After I take this off, it holds the liquid. See? So there's there's liquid in there. It's that still house. in here. So now you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. See, oh that's, yeah. That's the liquid. Yeah. Now this is supposed to be this 129, 128. This is supposed to be 128 when I put the liquid back in. Now I'm putting liquid back in from the low side. See, I'm putting it back in now, and you can feel this gets cold. You can feel it. Yeah, you can, if you want to, you can feel that. It. It so this is flowing back into the uh, yes. system. Yes. Through this uh, this other line. Mm -hmm. Until it hits one, until it hits this number, it met, it equalizes, and there's only vapor. That's it. Oh only look, liquid. there you are. 128, 127. Yeah. And equalized. So now the the the, the liquid, the, the coolant that was in the other hose has been pulled out and gone back in the machine. Yes. Okay, cool. See, now you see everything equals. Excellent. So it's only it's only low side pressure. So now when I take this off, you won't see any liquid. No, 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 no uh, white smoke or anything. There's nothing. This, this, this air. This is, this is, it's already coming. See? That's it. Then, I open this up. Because I don't want like, to hold pressure in here. It messes it, screws up with my gauge. So you always want to open the valves after? Yes. If you've detached everything and you put your coolant back in. Yep. And a lot of guys will skip that thing, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. A good, that's a good tip. Yeah, it is, it is. And so now it's down to zero. Yep. 
Yeah, that's where you can be put away. That's it. That's it. So I'm looking pressure is good. And then all we got to do is put those two caps back on, huh? Yeah. That other one was a little loose, so. Yeah, I'm going to tell you now. So then you always want to put these back on there. You want to leave them open, right? Yeah, just got to put them back on. I don't tighten it all the way. I only tighten. I don't. I only tighten this and this. I, I don't tighten this too much because I still want to relieve pressure. Okay. But yeah, and then uh, that was your low side, your high side. Well, I don't have it on the way. Your low side, your high side, your superheat, the vapor coming from inside to your outside compressor, subcool, the liquid from your compressor going to your inside. Vapor saturation is the temperature that your vapor is on. Liquid saturation is the liquid saturation the condenser is on. And then wow. you've got your refrigerant, which is 410A, you got 134, you got 404, 407, 409, 408, 507, 422, 12, refrigerant 12. That's old school. Uh, 416, 422, uh, R22D. 422D is what we have for super 422. That one is a 22. But we don't have the extra 22, we have the suitable. Which is matching. Yes, it matches it still. So yeah. And then it. Oh, yeah. I just learned how to do all of it. Does everything maybe he doesn't want to spend the time doing it? No, he loves it. Man. He's, he's a good teacher. Tell him that yeah, I, 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 I'm sending him the video when he gets done. Oh, yeah. And then your caps. Here we go. Put this on. And this. Oh, yeah. Coca Cola. Coke? Yeah, thank you. All right, and then righty, righty, tidy. Left to loose, I have to remember that. Righty, tidy. How tight do you make them? Tight up. Uh, well, with these, they don't really, they don't have gaskets. So I gotta make this really, really tight. Well, not too tight, but tight enough where it doesn't relieve the, it doesn't. There we go, that's it. It doesn't lose, you don't lose any of the uh, pull. Yeah. Uh, to this day, I still freaking forget. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. That's it. Yeah. We just gotta put the plate back on. Yeah. You know, a little bit of slight rust, but nothing to worry about. But it's working. Oh, yeah. Then. You put this, it's old school. There we go. Oh, thank you. Whoa, whoa. I got you, I got you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta have a quick right? reaction, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I right. got one screw on there, huh? Yeah, I can have another one. You want to see which one? I can just get one from my... No, it's, uh, all, it's good like that. Yeah. I mean, it, it, that's how I mean, it won't cause any issues. Alright, cool. Oh, cool. yeah. That's it. Yes, sir. And then the coil is good and everything else is good. Do you want me to... You want to have your face in the video? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you see, you like my haircut? Looking keeping, good. Keeping it fresh, you know? I like it. Fresh <laughs> Prince. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. I know that. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, that's just how I do it. I love air conditioning. I love it all over the place. <laughs> well, yeah, this is this is the gauges, which help determine and distinguish pressures, subcool, superheat, liquid saturation, um, vapor saturation, your uh, low side, your high side, and all types of refrigerant. Tune in next time on the next video with Stephen O.